What if we could test hypersonic and suborbital technologies with reliable, high-cadence flight test opportunities? And what if we could do this in a cost-effective and tailored manner? Well, the wait is over. Rocket Lab has unveiled its new suborbital electron variant, Haste. Hey there, folks. Welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting-edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will discuss Haste, a new suborbital electron variant by Rocket Lab. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Rocket Lab recently announced the introduction of a new rocket called Haste, which stands for Hypersonic Accelerator Suborbital Test Electron. This suborbital testbed rocket is a modified version of the Electron rocket, designed to provide reliable, high cadence, and cost-effective suborbital flight test opportunities for hypersonic technology development. The first launch of Haste is scheduled to take place in the first half of 2023 for a confidential customer. Rocket Lab has a strong track record of delivering tailored and reliable space capabilities for the civil space and national security communities across the launch and space systems. Haste is an extension of this, providing hypersonic and suborbital test capabilities that are key priorities for the nation. The DoD's ability to test these systems has been limited, but with Haste, Rocket Lab has taken a proven vehicle in Electron and tailored it specifically to deliver highly capable, frequent, and cost-effective hypersonic and suborbital test opportunities from their existing launch site in Virginia. Haste employs the same carbon composite structure and 3D-printed Rutherford engines as Electron, but has a larger payload capacity of up to 700 kilograms, or 1540 pounds, and options for tailored fairings to accommodate larger payloads. Haste is a liquid launch vehicle with deep throttle capability and a third stage with attitude control, providing flight trajectories with payload release velocities, altitudes, and orientations tailored to the customer's mission. The modified kick stage of the Haste rocket is a critical component that sets it apart from Rocket Lab's other rockets. The kick stage is essentially a third stage that provides a streamlined path to orbit, eliminating the added risk, complexity, and cost of customers having to develop their own spacecraft propulsion or using a third-party space tug to deliver their spacecraft to the desired orbit when flying as a rideshare. Rocket Lab has been using the kick stage for different missions for years now, depending on the flight requirements. Rocket Lab's upgraded kick stage variant named Photon has been used on a variety of missions, including lunar lander missions, technology demonstrations, and satellite deployment. However, the Haste rocket is not using the Photon kick stage, Rocket Lab has not provided detailed information about the modifications made to the kickstage for Haste. Still, it is likely that the propulsion system consists of Rocket Lab's in-house designed and built engine, low minimum impulse, bit cold gas reaction control system thrusters, tank pressurization system, and high propellant mass fraction tanks, which can be scaled to meet mission-specific needs. The modified kickstage is a critical component of Haste, enabling the rocket to provide custom trajectories for hypersonic and suborbital testing. Rocket Lab's track record of delivering tailored and reliable space capabilities for the civil space and national security communities across the launch and space systems makes Haste an extension of their existing capabilities. The success of the Haste program will likely depend on its ability to meet the unique needs of this market and deliver reliable and cost-effective hypersonic and suborbital test opportunities. Rocket Lab has already signed up a few customers who are interested in using the Haste rocket for hypersonic and suborbital testing one example is the Multi-Service Advanced Capability Testbed Mach TB project, awarded by the Naval Surface Warfare Center's Crane Division on behalf of the U.S. Department of Defense. Rocket Lab will be selected by Dianetics to provide hypersonic test launch capability under this project. Additionally, Rocket Lab has been selected by the Defense Innovation Unit (DIU) to prototype hypersonic launch capability on Haste under the agency's Hypersonic and High Cadence Testing Capabilities (High Cap) program. This program aims to increase the cadence of hypersonic testing at a decreased cost of traditional flight tests. Rocket Lab's partnership with DIU started under the Space Systems Command Rapid Agile Launch Initiative effort in 2018, providing rapid and agile launch capabilities to the DoD. Due to the prototype's success, any DoD organization can utilize DIU's solutions catalog to procure launch services from Rocket Lab. The Haste rocket's versatility is evident from the range of payloads that it can carry, and the custom trajectories that it can provide. Rocket Lab was also selected by the Missile Defense Agency, Targets and Countermeasures, to conduct a study to evaluate a variety of payloads on haste, setting the stage for future test flight opportunities. 
The Haste rocket will be primarily operated under Rocket Lab National Security, RLNS, the company's wholly owned subsidiary created to serve the unique needs of the U.S. defense and intelligence community and its allies. Rocket Lab's Launch Complex 2, within the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport and Nassau Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia, is the launch site for Haste. Based on the signed customers, it's clear that the new Haste system is hitting an untapped market. The success of the Haste program will depend on whether or not the suborbital method works well with the Electron variant. Recently, Rocket Lab has been working to improve and alter the base Electron rocket in other ways. For example, the company has been experimenting with different ways to recover the Electron's first stage. In early April, Rocket Lab CEO Peter Beck tweeted about the successful soft splashdown of the Electron's first stage in the ocean after completing a controlled descent under a parachute. The stage was then transported back to Rocket Lab's production facility and analyzed to inform future recovery and reuse missions. It's unclear if similar recovery methods will be attempted on the upcoming Haste mission. Most likely, the company will be focusing on all the other changes that have been made to the rocket, including the modified kick stage, custom trajectories, and fairing options. However, it's worth noting that the first stages of both the Electron and Haste rockets are practically identical so the recovery methods used for the Electron could potentially be applied to the Haste rocket in the future. In the past, Rocket Lab has attempted to catch the Electron rocket's first stage mid-air with a helicopter. However, during one of these attempts, the rocket fell into the ocean instead. Despite this, the company found that the rocket survived the water landing in remarkably good condition, and many of its components passed requalification for flight. Following this incident, Rocket Lab has decided to experiment with controlled splashdowns in the ocean, rather than attempting to catch the rocket mid-air. This approach would allow the company to recover more vehicles, as it would not be constrained by the limitations of helicopter operations. While it's unclear whether this recovery method will be attempted on the upcoming Haste mission, it's worth noting that the company has been exploring different recovery options for its rockets. As of now, the first upgraded Haste rocket is currently preparing for launch at the company's integration and control facility at LC2. Rocket Lab has not provided any further details about the customer or the payload for this inaugural launch, but it's expected to take place in the next two months, either in May or June. In the coming weeks, we can hope to receive more updates from Rocket Lab about the Haste rocket and its features. The success of this first mission will determine the future of the Haste program and Rocket Lab's ability to deliver reliable and cost-effective hypersonic and suborbital test opportunities for the defense and intelligence community will be put to the test. What do you think about the Haste program? Do you agree on Rocket Lab's decision to experiment with controlled splashdowns in the ocean for the Electron's first stage? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.